بسم الله وكفى والصلاة على نبيه المصطفى سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Brothers and sisters in Islam Allah سبحانه وتعالى states in the Quran والله يدعو إلى دار السلام Allah سبحانه وتعالى invites all of us to paradise دار السلام and as Muslims, as believers, we responded to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can all imagine ourselves being in paradise with Ibnihi subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I want you to use your imagination walking towards the paradise Assuming since you've been Muslim all along, dutiful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is high time for you to be rewarded with the ultimate reward, which is the paradise and in it seeing the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But before you enter the paradise, before you enter paradise, you realize behind you there is a long line of people. All of them are going other than paradise. They're not strangers to you because you know them by faces and names. You met them in your worldly life. You talked to them. Some of them you lived with them. They were your neighbors, your classmates. And what did they desire? What did they want from you? They may request from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to judge between us and them. With a simple claim, Oh Allah, you bless them with the ni'mat al-Islam. Oh Allah, you gave them the light of this deen, the nur of hidayah. Ya Allah, it was them. It was they that I did not become a Muslim. Brothers and sisters, today we don't need more Qur'ans to be printed. Today we don't need more Riyadh al-Salihin, Sahih al-Bukhari. We do have enough material. We do have enough resource about Islam, yet the people are not accepting Islam the way they should. Why? In my view and my experience, one of the main reasons people do not want to accept Islam is because they don't want to be like us. I believe that we are one of the major reasons why people are not coming full force to Islam. Because us, we're not living like Muslims. We're not living like Muslims. As a matter of fact, a lot of youth are very impressed the way the Western societies live. They want to be like them, they want to talk like them, they want to move like them, they want to behave like them. And when they see us, they're not Muslims, they say, I don't want to be like them. In very short, one of the true stories, true incidents, a lady who was weeping and crying, because she wants to become a Muslim, but the only reason that she doesn't want to, she didn't want to become a Muslim is because she claimed, and she stated, and I believe she was true into her statement. She said, whatever I do, this deen is beautiful, I love it, I accept it, however, I will never be like you. And if, by accepting Islam, I'm going to be like you, I don't want it. What would you do? If these individuals come to the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah, claiming and stating we were the reasons that they did not become a Muslim. Brothers and sisters, I'm not asking you to give more Qur'ans and literatures and so on. I'm asking you and I to live like Muslims. Live like Muslims. Don't exaggerate. Don't have that multiple personality and let them watch and see you in action. And by Allah, 
When that happens, you will see these people coming to Islam because they want to be like you and I. Wallahu a'lam wa jazakumullahu khair.